Hi guys. So I just wanted to make a quick kind of video about my seafers. Um, something that I've realized recently. Um, one thing that is like a big thing that I've realized is that with my tonic clonic seizures, when I have um, at the rare points when I do have uh, like an aura, which is like once in a blue moon, um, there are times when I'm like, no, 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 this can't happen right now, and then it happens, and then I, because I'm so stressed out and I don't want it, the seizure to happen. Um, but I found that when I have like felt that aura, like I said, again, it happens only like once in a blue moon that I actually have an aura before the seizure. Um, what will happen for me um, when I do accept it, when I lie down and in the right position and say, okay, the seizure can come now. It, it doesn't happen. And the problem is that I am not in that state enough, that I'm not accepting of it. Um, I'm not sure that like if it would completely go away if I was like a accepting it every single time. Um, but I'm a bit stubborn, so <laughs> I feel like if I feel an aura and then I say, okay, the seizure can happen, I'm not stressed out, just let it happen. What if it just stopped happening because I was okay with having the seizure? But, but, like I said, I'm stubborn and I'm not okay with having seizures because of, like, for example, the tonic clonic, I bite my tongue and I get extreme headaches afterwards and, like, when I have the auras, I have, like, a huge headache and it's just, it's so frustrating. But I guess I'm gonna try and accept it every time, even if I'm in public, even if I'm doing work or whatever, um, like in the future if I'm doing work. Um, but you know what, we'll just see. But I feel like maybe just being positive about it and accepting that that's what's going to happen will help me um, not just have less seizures, but also um, maybe just help me with my stress levels because I know my stress levels are a lot lower uh, because of being vegan because I don't have the stuff from dairy that's uh, messing with my hormones and I don't have a lot of soy so uh, it's like Again, once in a blue moon that I have like something with soy in it so it's not like I'm having high levels of estrogen in my body um, but I'm just yeah I'm pretty much in a place where I'm just whatever you know and um, yeah so we're I am gonna see where this goes see if I have less tonic clonic seizures because it, it doesn't affect my absence seizures and whatever other seizures that I have. Um, or maybe it does, maybe not because I'm usually, like I've felt it like once or twice that I, I might have an absence seizure um, before it happened and I know that I was always like, oh no, this can't happen now, this can't happen now, I have stuff to do, I, whatever, and then it happens, and then I ended up not being able to finish the stuff I do because I got too stressed out about the seizure about to happen. Um, so, I'm definitely going to work on accepting it, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. Um, 
it's gonna be hard if I'm trying to make some food for myself. Then I'll obviously turn whatever I'm doing, I'm turning it off and then just accepting it, you know? Uh, something I definitely have to work on. So thank you for listening. And uh, also any other epileptics out there, if you've ever experienced something like this, then please let me know. And if it's like helped you in any way to accept the seizure happening, if it's helped you to like not have a seizure um, because of the lack of stress, um, or if not, if it hasn't worked for you, just just let me know because I wanna I wanna know and I I want to find a way where I'm at peace with myself having epilepsy because I I, I still stress out over it and obviously it's because I'm stressing out that <laughs> I'm having the seizures but we're gonna see and yeah I guess that's all I really have to say. <sighs> yeah. That's really all I can think of. Um, and I keep talking, but whatever. Uh -huh. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. And I swear it's not a chore. And also check out my other channels. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs Wednesdays and Thursdays. And my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Mwah.